Hey guys, what is up? This is Alex from Easy PC. We are coming at you with an awesome 1080p gaming PC for anyone that is on a budget between that four to $500 range. Uh, in this video, we're gonna go over all the products you see here. We're also going to build this PC, so stay tuned and uh, enjoy. So here's what we got in this build today. We'll start with the processor and work our way down. So here we're actually going to be pairing this build with the Intel Pentium G4600 processor. This is a really nice processor for small budget builds because it has two cores and four threads, but it does support hyper-threading. So it's going to be able to do all your esports games as well as a lot of different AAA titles um, as of today um, and do it totally fine. Uh, we're pairing this up with an ASRock B250M motherboard. Um, this isn't really a big special motherboard, but for this build it's going to work perfect. Uh, we are also going to be pairing it up with 8GB of G-Skills RAM at 2133 MHz. Um, not, not really the most important or I should say uh, best RAM that's out there, but this is going to get the job done. Plus, if you ever wanted to upgrade in the future, this motherboard does have the ability to support dual channel, and so you're going to be able to upgrade another 8 gigs, totaling 16 gigabytes of RAM. Um, this part here, kind of the heart of the build per se, is the EVGA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti for the Win Edition graphics card. Um, went with this one because it has 4 gigabytes of VRAM compared to the 2 gigabytes of the normal 1050. Um, and it really, you can find them for about, give or take, $40 to $50 more than the 1050s. Overall, it's just a little bit better of a graphics card, and we're going to be able to play 1080p games all day long. Uh, to my right here, we're going to be pairing it up with a 1 terabyte Western Digital Blue hard drive. This is 72,000 RPM revolution. Um, we're not going to be pairing it up with an SSD, we're trying to keep the cost low, but you could easily pair this up with an SSD to put your operating system on, um, and everything's just going to work a lot more fluently with that. Um, here we are going to be pairing it up with a 450 watt Corsair uh, power supply. Uh, nothing really fancy, but this is going to get the job done just fine. And then to the last product here, the actual look of the case here is really nice. This is the Rosewill. Redbone U3 uh, case. You can get this case in two different versions. This one is the USB 3.0 version, or you can save $5 if you really wanted to and go with the USB 2.0, but uh, the 3.0 is probably the better way to go. So next, let's get all these unboxed here and let's get it into this PC and build it. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Click the like and subscribe button down below and remember, don't make it hard, make it easy PC.